Hey guys, this is Ryan and Cole. Um, today we are here to talk about the Axis series and uh, some of the new wings that they've come out with. A lot of times the stabilizer gets left out and kind of forgotten about, but it's a great way to kind of upgrade your foil um, or change some characteristics about it that uh, oftentimes gets overlooked. So let's get into it here, talk a little bit about the Access Progressive series versus the Skinny series, kind of what some of the differences are that you're gonna notice when you switch back and forth between the two styles of wings. The first thing that you guys are gonna notice between these two stabilizers is just looking at the shape, you can tell that the Skinny is a lot skinnier than the Progressive is. That's why they called it the Skinny, by the way. Uh, but Ryan, so what is the Skinny gonna help you out with riding-wise? Yeah, so similar concept to what you're noticing in front wings when you're comparing uh, stabilizers in terms of the performance that you get. You go with a higher aspect ratio stabilizer and you're gonna get a foil or get a stabilizer that has less drag uh, and generally higher speed. Uh, so great way to go if you're charging, you're, you're ripping some big waves, um, or perhaps maybe you want to get a little more glide out of the foil that you currently have. Obviously, this is more of kind of a high speed stabilizer. So there are certain foils, foil front wings, I should say, from Access that you wouldn't necessarily pair this with. Like, I don't think that I would necessarily put it with a PNG foil or definitely not their BSCs. But there are a lot of foils that would work great. And even some of them that might get overlooked, like their new Spitfire. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people might not necessarily think to put the skinny stabilizers on the Spitfire wing, but that's one thing that I've been doing recently with a lot of foils is going with the smaller, higher aspect stabilizers in order to get more glide out of whatever front wing it is that I'm riding. Yeah, and just the biggest thing with these skinnies are they really excel for pumping, I've noticed that I like them a lot. The higher aspect stabilizers definitely tend to pump better uh, than like something like the Progressive where it's a little thicker cord length. So that's where I notice it. And like Ryan said, just the speed. You notice that those stabilizers let you go faster. Sometimes those thicker stabilizers, you just feel like the brakes are being put on. I don't know if yeah. you felt that at all. If you yeah. take a really small front wing and your stabilizer is too big, you're gonna feel those brakes get applied. So that's where those skinny ones really, really that's shine. That's one thing that I think a lot of people really notice when they make the jump from something like a progressive front wing down to a skinny wing, it feels like someone took the parking brake off. Yeah. All of yep. a sudden, they unlocked a whole new speed level that they didn't know was there in their wing. So really easy way to kind of change up, modify your foil if you're not necessarily looking to get a whole new setup, whole new front wing. Um, you don't really want to mess with the fuselage because you like kind of how stable it is. Stabilizers are an awesome thing to, to play with. Uh, now, talking about the progressive series here. Uh, one thing that we didn't really talk about a whole lot is generally with the progressive series, because they have a little more cord length or a little lower aspect ratio, you're going to get a skinnier wingspan or a uh, shorter wingspan most of the time on your progressive stabilizers than well, what you would in the skinny series. Yeah, assuming that you have the same surface area on your tail wing. Correct. So what that's going to do, progressive, it's going to open up those turns for you. It's gonna allow yep. you to turn it a little more aggressively than maybe what you could with the skinny uh, stabilizer. Yeah, it's like if you have a big high aspect front wing versus something that's a little bit more compact. Those high aspect, big wingspan front wings, I don't like to turn side to side. Same thing applies to your stabilizer. Yep. So if you're looking around to upgrade your foil, change a few things around, don't overcomplicate it when it comes to the stabilizers. The, the concepts are very similar to what they are with the front wings in terms of what you're gonna notice performance-wise. Keep it basic, try a few things out. Uh, it's a really easy way to change your foil up and, and kind of unlock a whole new level of performance without making any major changes. Yeah, it's also a cost-effective way to really enhance your foil experience. Rather than buying a whole new setup for you know $2,000, uh, you can pick up a stabilizer and it'll change up the way that your foil rides. So in summary here, the Progressive Series, I would say that is for someone that um, wants something that's maybe a little more surfy. They're really toe to heel, maybe they're 
They're not um, concerned about uh, unlocking kind of the, the foil's full potential in terms of speed. Um, but they just, they're more concerned about something, how well it carves. On the other hand, looking at the skinny, you know, if you're looking to go fast, this is the best option for you. If you're looking to pump, this is also a great option for you. If you're looking to turn, you know, this thing doesn't love to turn side to side too well. However, the smaller size of the skinny do have a short enough wingspan where you can still rip some turns on it. All right, guys, so that's the Progressive Stabilizer versus Axis's new Skinny Stabilizer. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to drop those in the comment section below or you can reach out to us via live chat, phone, or email, which you can find that on our website. But until next time, we hope you guys have a fun time out on the water. This has been Cole and Ryan. Thank you guys for watching.